I guess we'll go check up on those two every now and then. I'm not. Yeah, we can't just completely disregard them. I can. Back. Again. To play some games. So. Dangerous fellas. That game. <laughs> the one I be messing up in. The one that makes me rage. So like, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Judy is still missing. Scarlet's on my no- Scarlet's still on my nerves. Uh, Jay. I have no idea where Jay is. What? <laughs> like, I think he died? Uh, I bought the wrong outfit. And someone, um, uh, a subscriber told me. <laughs> they explained everything to me on how the outfits changed the game. And how the outfits help help uh, get the boys' affections. And let me see. So right now, Ethan is the highest right now. So I think I'm going to go for Ethan ending if I still can at this point. Because I really like Ethan. <laughs> yeah, I like the, the silent, the silent type. I also would have wanted to go for Harry too, but um, and the same subscriber also uh, told me that it ranges in difficulty. So they said Lawrence is probably the hardest. Eugene, Eugene and Lawrence are probably the hardest to get affection with. I think Lawrence is the hardest. And I think Ethan and Harry are the easiest to get affection with. We're gonna try our best to get either Ethan's affections or Harry's affections. But most likely Ethan because this is the highest. But I also really like Harry. I think those two are my favorite so far. But um, we're going to try our best even though I messed up getting the outfits. <laughs> Make sure you follow me on my social media. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. The subscribe part is very important. The comment part is also very important. I like hearing from you guys. And we can get started. If you're still in this place, Jay is missing. Where's Jay? Their faces turn pale. Just hop on. I'll explain it on the way. Okay. I jump on Eugene's back. Why? It, Eugene seems like he's tiny. Why wouldn't I hop on Lawrence's back? I think wouldn't Lawrence be the better option because he's he, you no know, he's taller and bigger. Lawrence goes back up first to check outside, then Eugene carefully follows. I tried to fall asleep in Eugene's back as he climbed up the stairs. Oh no. I'm shocked by what I see in the streets from up the stairs. A bunch of zombies with their heads crushed were scattered on the ground. Uh, I think that was Lawrence, probably. Good thing this is a closed alley, otherwise there'd have been more of them than we could handle. Lawrence explains quietly and starts heading towards the school. So the noise I heard back there in the karaoke was them fighting the zombies? Wait, then Jay must be... Yeah, it happened so fast. I looked around in shock and Eugene stops me. What's the point of looking for him? Let's just go. You know, it's just... You know, it's just the way it is now. One minute you're with them, and then the next minute they're gone. He does it so calmly, it makes it sound more heartbreaking. I didn't even get the chance to ask him why he pushed me. Oh, so I've got to deal with Scarlet when I get back. I got... She doesn't have a field day with me. Just to talk about how I got Jake killed. Um, we made a final turn to the school. It t I took a moment to think about what Harry said before, that everything just changed, that everything can change in just seconds. <sighs> Scarlet fiercely blames me on losing Jay again, and the others look at me as if I'm a monster. The fear mixed with doubts. I can't take this anymore. I need a rest. I found myself wandering in the hallway in front of my classroom. And Judy is still not there. 
I can't go in. It still reminds me of Judy. It still reminds me of Judy. But I can't ask the guy to switch rooms with me. As I make up my mind to get inside. Boy. I'm scared again. Swish. Oh gosh. How am I going to live? How am I going to live with this? I'm scared. <laughs> the same feeling I had back when I was patrolling the library in the past. Bump, bump. I see a shadow running down the stairs. I have a gut feeling that whoever just went down those stairs must be the one who caused all the strange things happening inside the school. Shoot. I know it's dangerous, but I decided to chase it. Oh gosh. Breathe heavily. <sighs> I lost it. It couldn't have gone that. It couldn't have gone that far. I looked around, tried to spot any traces of it. It's the cafeteria on the other side. I don't think it went in that direction. It's the middle school building. Jeez, what should I do? I stopped to think for a while. Boy, this is a horror game. I hear a door opening. It must, it must come from where the stairs are. But a bit more downstairs. It, could it be the basement? No one's been there yet. I knew I shouldn't be there alone, but I couldn't resist my curiosity. Oh my goodness, bring something. Bring someone with you. I carefully go get Ethan. He's got a bat. Literally, Ethan's illustration, character illustration, has a bat on him. Bring him with me. He keeps that thing on him. Literally. I carefully step down the stairs. I'll be fine. See? Nothing's happening. Besides, I really- what happened to my ankle? My ankle's automatically healed. I can go downstairs by myself now. Besides, I really want to find out who it is. I barely endured my fear and continued on my way down. It's so spooky in here. Wish I had a flashlight. It's just too dark here. I can't see anything. I carefully moved forward, guiding myself by reaching for the wall. I continued walking for a while, and just then, something on the wall caught my eye. Is it the light switch? Oh no, it's scary! I tried turning it on. Huh? The power has been down for a while. How come this one isn't... The strange feelings give me the creep. I just don't get it. There's definitely something down here. I better check it out. I better check it out real quick and come back. My legs start to shake. I could hear I could hear my footsteps in the dead silent space while on my way. Where did it go? I looked around in frustration. Just then something gets caught in my hands. Oh shoot! Oh gosh, she is so clumsy. A pile of boxes. <laughs> now I've alerted the enemy. I've alerted the enemy now. They know I'm down here. A pile of boxes fell down on the floor. Gosh. I took a deep breath and looked what's I took a deep breath and looked what's on the floor. Random things in the boxes were scattered around the floor, but nothing ma but nothing catches my attention. Old newspaper, candy wrappers, and a hairpin. Hmm. Something tells me this isn't right. How come this is here? The missing person. This belongs to the missing person. What's up with the music? <laughs> this can't be a coincidence. I gotta tell someone. I don't know what's down here, but... I'm certain there's something to do with the strange things that have been happening in the school. I rushed back upstairs. I'm surprised she made it. Oh my gosh. What are you doing here? Where were you going? 
Come with me. Please don't. Just tell him to go right now. Hey, where are you going? What's wrong? You okay? You guys. I pause for a bit to catch my breath. I have something to tell you guys. I made sure there was no one around and lowered my voice. I'm a little nervous, but I talked to them first. I feel like it would be easier to talk to everyone better. What is it? What's going on? And why are you looking so pale? Do you see a ghost or something? Come on, a ghost? Well, look how pale she is. So, what really happened? Harry turns to me and asks. I took a deep breath and showed them the hairpin. <sighs> a hairpin? This is Jay's. This is Judy's. This is Sue's. This is Judy's. This is Judy's. I didn't know she wore this kind of stuff. Maybe she did. I don't know. So what? She left it here voluntarily? No, that's not true. This is proof that she didn't. She's being so vague. Say it. What are you talking about? Just help me understand. I've seen her wearing that. But I still understand, Lauren. Is this something we should be concerned about? I mean, it's only a hairpin. Say it! Not knowing how to explain this, I just mumbled. I was afraid to say it loud. I couldn't stop picturing this... this, this I couldn't stop picturing the spiteful look the other guys had at me. Gave me. Had uh, Lauren? Darn it, say something. Just spit it out. Yeah, it's okay, just tell us. I've been to the basement. Finally! What? Why? Are you freaking crazy? That's connected to the middle school building, you know it. It's supposed to be a forbidden area. Why would you do that? He's right. You promised you wouldn't do anything dangerous again, remember? But I heard something from there. Gosh, not again. Did it not occur to you that you could have talked to us first? I thought you wouldn't believe me. What? Hold up, Zion. I don't think she's lying about what she heard. Let her talk. I never said she was lying. There was a big pile of boxes in the basement, and this wasn't in one of them. She was wearing this the whole time until she disappeared, but why would this be in the box in the basement? So Lauren, what you're saying is, she didn't, have, she didn't leave voluntarily, I don't want to blame her, there's someone behind all this. She didn't leave voluntarily. She didn't leave voluntarily. Then how? I don't know, but something bad must have happened to her. And I'm gonna find out. Hmm? So basically, you think there's someone in the school behind all this? But you know what? You're right. I think there's been enough evidence to say that. Enough evidence? What do you mean? Actually, there's something I haven't told you guys. What? You know you're not supposed to keep secrets. I'm sorry, but I didn't want it to split us up like last time. Well, I do understand where you're coming from. So what's the secret? Someone has been accessing the broadcasting room. But I thought that room was locked. Well, we all did. But we actually had a chance to try the key there. And we found out the door was already open. Plus, it didn't look like it had been empty for a long time. And you've been keeping this from us for how long? I didn't know what it was really about. I want to be complete. I want to be completely sure before I tell everyone. Sorry. Hey, Lauren. Let me just ask you one thing. You. Oh, I. <laughs> I didn't even read. I accidentally pushed it. But apparently he liked it. Trust me. Trust you based on what? Anyway, I'll tell you that as a yes. I'll help you. With that, with what? What? You just said you want to find out what happened to Judy. Thanks, Zion. What are you thanking me for? For believing us. Whatever, bro. 
Forget about it. <laughs> so, can we go back to the basement? <laughs> so, where do we begin? We can't just go around and start inter interrogating people. There's also a possibility of a third person, you know? Like an intruder. Right. That's why we should... St I'm blaming everything on Scarlet. I don't think she's behind this, but... Scarlet. Just because I don't like her. Right. That's why we should really stick together for this and trust each other. I have an idea. Whatever. Episode 14. Harry's warm smile calms me down. So Harry, how do you want to do this? The boxes. You didn't find them by yourself. We all went to the basement together and found them. But that'd be lying. Yeah, you want to lie to the other guys? I know it's a lie. But if we tell them the truth, people will be suspicious of you. Like what happened earlier, remember? No one really cares about what really happened and what kind of person you are. I see what you mean. I mean, you were down in the basement by yourself and that's enough for them to suspect you. Shouldn't we just leave her out of it completely then? No one will listen to what exactly happened or who you really are. No one will listen to what exactly has happened or who you really are. So I don't, Zion looked quite surprised by what Harry just said. I'm not too happy about lying to my... I'm not too happy about lying myself. But to be honest, I don't think it's... I don't think it's an intruder. So you're saying it's Scarlet. I wonder who it is. Who could be behind? It was out of all of us. I wonder who it is. Let me just think for a second. He says Harry thinks it's not an intruder, so it's probably one of us causing trouble. So let me think of the people I'm most suspicious of. Um, even, even though Scarlet causes a whole bunch of trouble for me, I don't think, I mean, I'm going to blame her anyway, but I really don't think she's behind all this. And then Sue, Sue and the other girl who's always staying like this, I always forget her name. Um... Sometimes it's the quiet ones you can't trust. And then there's Lawrence. <laughs> I shouldn't be suspicious of Lawrence, but he's like, I don't know. <laughs> there's just something odd off about Lawrence. This is probably just me being stupid, but like, the way he acts, the way he, and the fact that my character is always saying, he's such a good leader, that's why he's the leader. He's such a good leader, no wonder he's the leader. They really are trying to make me, like they're really trying to focus on that. So like, there's something about Lawrence. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. And maybe that's just foresha foreshadowing his route or whatever, or his ending, but um, Yeah, or maybe it is just an intruder. So, who knows? Sorry, I know it's really not like me to say something like that. It's all right. Actually, now I can see this more clearly. Zion scratches his head and turns to me. By the way, did you have a flashlight? Nope. Why are you mentioning about the flashlight? All of a sudden. Well, we were talking about the basement. It must be really dark down there. Oh, that's another thing. What is? The power is not down there. The power is not down there in the basement. What? Is this real? How's that even possible? This is really strange. Harry ponders for a moment. Man, this is more than serious. Whoever this is, we really have to watch out for them. 
it's definitely not gonna be an easy fight. Right, so I was thinking. Harry puts his head up and suggests. Maybe we can all go down there together. You hear he's too dangerous. Well, got any plans? Let's do it. Not really. Can't really come up with the plans at this point. I just feel like a quick and quiet search will be enough for now. Let's go. I guess you're right. One thing is for sure. I can't do this alone. Will you guys come with me? Sure, I will. I want to. I said I help. I said I'd help, so... Are we going now? Looks like we haven't got enough time. The sun is setting. It's almost time for the meeting. Let's go back to the classroom. We'll check out the basement tomorrow after the morning patrol. How does it sound? Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a good plan to me. We head back to 1C. I catch his eye on Blakey to Harry. I wonder what that's about. Uh, let's get going now. Yeah? Wait, Lauren. You got a minute? Sure. Whatever. <laughs> My coins. Yeah, sure. Sure, what's up? Maybe I should... Uh. Whatever, I'll just buy some more coins. It hurts my soul to buy coins, but I'll do it anyway. I just want to straighten things up with you. I'll look for Harry, but he's already gone. Hey, focus and listen. So you went to the restricted area all by yourself, huh? Uh, I was just trying to... Are you crazy? Even Ethan doesn't walk around there by himself. Sorry I made you worry. Who said I'm worried? I told you to stay out of trouble. Alright, alright, stop with the nagging. I'm gone. Hey, I'm not done yet. Then just tell me. Okay, fine. So tomorrow when we So tomorrow when we're down there in the basement? If anything happens to you, just duck and roll. I'm gonna be on your right side the whole time. Got it? You want me to duck and roll? Just do it, okay? Come on, we're late for the meeting. Zion doesn't even let me respond. He just starts walking towards the classroom. I headed back as well. The meeting is running as usual, except having a moment of silence for Jay. Man, forget Jay. <laughs> Although he was never nice to me, it's still painful to lose someone you used to know in such a terrible way. May he rest in peace and be remembered by us all. I'd like you guys to try not to feel guilty about the incident. We gotta continue to survive for our survival. All I can hear while Lawrence wraps up the meeting is the noise of people quietly nibbling their food. It was dead silent in the room. But who would say something in this situation? Maybe Judy would. She'd have lightened up the mood with her bubbliness. That's what Judy was like. But. I'm not really good at making people laugh or feel better. Oh, Haley, that's her name again. Gosh, I can't, sorry. I gotta have to skip dinner. Take it with you then. It's a rule that we have to stay together for our meals. Lawrence, let's make an exception this time. Thanks. It seems like people listen to Sue too, like Lawrence. Like They're like both leaders. Um, I guess Haley's not feeling so well tonight. She picks up her slice of bread and walks out the door. Please tell me she left. Okay, yeah. As soon as Haley leaves, Scarlet storms out with her half-eaten bread. Did she have to slam the door? Like, disrupting the peace? This is why I said no. The more you're afraid and suspicious of things around, the more we need to stay together. That's the only way we can protect ourselves. Hey, Scarlet, did you hear that? Just forget her. Let her do whatever she wants. I guess we'll go check up on those two every now and then. I'm not. 
Yeah, we can't just completely disregard them. I can. I don't think it's a good idea that we separate from the rest of the group. While there's nothing we can do. Silence fills the room again. I see why Haley wants to be alone. With everyone sitting in a circle in dead silence like this. It just reminds me of the fact that we have less people than before. But it's also a reminder to stay strong. Tomorrow, when I'm back in the basement, I must find something, anything I can. I have to. I have to do it for Judy and for the only time we and for the only time we all enjoyed here. That's why I really like this room. Phew, the cat's still on the board. I decided to get some rest in my classroom. The blanket on the floor now looks too big for me without Judy. I curl myself in the blanket to try to catch some sleep, then I hear someone knock on the door. My whole body tenses up. I open the door slowly. Haley? Hey. It's Haley, the last person I can imagine to be here. Oh, hey. Wanna come in? She quietly closes the door behind her. Sorry. I know it's late. No, it's okay. I was awake. You have something to tell me? Hi, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know you. So, I came here to find out myself. I don't care what the others say. I thought she didn't like me. I guess she came here just to get to know me better? Thank you. Thank you. It's... It's not what you think. I'm here because I don't really know anything about you. And that makes it really hard for me to trust you. I point to... No, this... That's, that's a nice little, uh... That's a nice little song right there. <laughs> I'm easily distracted, sorry. I point to the blanket and wave for her to come sit. Haley hesitated for a bit before she comes. Would it sound weird to say thank you for keeping me company? I really want to break the awkward silence. Um, you wanted to ask me something the other day, right? You asked me where I have been. Right, where were you staying before you came here? Oh good, I remembered it. Really? Is this how you're going to find out if you can trust me or not? Well, yeah. At least for now. We started our chit-chatting. And we ended up going to sleep quite late. If you didn't come, I'd have stayed up all night. I guess it's a good thing she came then. Um, okay. So maybe we might make a new friend with Haley. If I can remember her name. So me, Henry, and... Zion, we're all gonna go to the basement again to see what is going on down there and who is causing all this trouble. Who is doing all this? What happened to Judy? Who got into the broadcasting room? Who's down in the basement? Like, what is going on? So basically, I'm gonna have I have trust issues right now with Scarlett. To Lawrence and maybe even Judy herself so we really don't know who who's causing all this but I also really want to know who Harry was talking about that one time where he was saying that the past the past people they had in the group the past people they have in the group who were they suspicious of? Because I feel like it was Lawrence. I mean, we've had some... <laughs> I don't want any Lawrence fans to get me, but... They keep trying to make us... They keep The character keeps saying... They really want to put in our heads that Lawrence is a good leader. Because they keep saying that over and over again. And then, um... Eugene, when we were walking... Or we're trying to go home from our little outing. He was like, how does Lawrence know all these these ways around the zombies? All these back alleyways. And I was like, I don't know. So 
Now that's also something to be suspicious of. But I could be totally wrong, which I probably am, because I am not good at this game, <laughs> as you can see. Thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on my social media. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is important. Comments are also important because I like hearing from you guys. And um, I will see you next week. Maybe. Probably. Hopefully. No. Yes. Maybe not. Probably. Most likely. Yeah. Bye-bye.